this video, I'm gonna take a store all the way from complete scratch and I'm gonna show you guys how I find the product, how I build my website, how I make my creatives and run my ads. I'm gonna peel back everything. Unlike everyone else on YouTube, they don't wanna show it to you. My channel is gonna be focused on straight value, transparency, and I'm gonna show you guys everything. And hopefully this gives you guys a good idea on what I do with my stores, how you can do the same, and how we can scale it up and make some money. So let's get into it. All right guys, so first things first, we're obviously gonna need a product and I'm gonna come clean. I already know the product that I'm gonna do for this video. It's these joggers right here and I think they look really cool and I think a lot of girls would buy them. And the way that I found this product guys is I have a free course that I just put out inside of my Discord. It is completely 100% fully free. There's no paywalls, there's no secret catch or anything like that. The top link in the description, you guys can join Rippy Club in the free section and you'll get access right on WAP to the free course. I went over how to do authentic products product research. I went over the mindset that you guys need to be applying towards doing e-commerce and I showed how I find products, how I make my creatives and how I build my stores, which is everything I'm going to do in this video. And when I was doing the product research section of that course, this is actually how I found the product and this is what we're going to be building our store with. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So now that we have the product, we're obviously going to need to build a store for our product so people can go to our website and buy it from us. The theme that I'm going to be using on my store, guys, is called Shrine. This is the best Shopify theme that any single person can use, guys. I've been in this for well over a year now. I know tons of other people that use this theme. It is honestly hard to make a bad looking store with this theme. And I need you guys to realize that the amount of features combinations that it has I'm going to show you guys with my store build and anytime I've ever seen a competitor or anybody else use this theme I assume that they're bagging it's just straight up I assume that they're bagging because the conversion rates you get with this store the, the amount of stuff that you can do with it it's absolutely insane and off the walls and the good news is guys Shrine has partnered with me and my discord Rippy Club and they have given us a 15% off discount link which is going to be linked down below as well this is the biggest discount Shrine offers and we got it just for you guys I'm going to show you guys how I do this story with it and let's get into the build. All right, so I went ahead and already imported the theme to my store. I removed all the default content from the homepage and whatnot, and I set the colors all to black and white. I think unless it really makes sense for the niche or the type of vibe that you're going on your store, black and white kind of fits with everything. So that's what I went with. I also went ahead here and created the product listing and I called it the viral TikTok cargo joggers. I just think, you know, it's catchy and it'll hit. And what I did here was import all the product pictures and I set all my prices and my variants. I went ahead and Photoshop a little bit and I kind of made all these variant images and I made them look really good. The way that I found all the content for this product guys is I go over this very vividly in my course so make sure to watch the store build part of it. But I kind of just, you know, look the product up on TikTok. I image search it, I type it in on Google and I kind of find all the websites, all the content and all the images possible for the product that I can implement into my product page. And I'm just gonna grind out the build right now and see what we come up with. So I just grinded it out. We're finally done and I'm gonna show you guys what I came up with here. So as I showed you guys what I did in Photoshop, I kind of removed the background to these variant product images. They come in black, gray and pink. And what's so sick about Shrine guys is I love this and use it on all my stores is this variant picker looks very, very, very nice. And it's not an app or anything. It's simply just clicking this button. If you don't have it on, it's kind of just the ugly default Shopify pills. When you turn it on, I just think this makes it look so much nicer, helps conversion rate, and these variant pills show up. So I have that on. I use this urgency text at the top, which is also built in the shrine to put in my offer, buy one, get one free. My product title is in here in all uppercase and it's nice and centered. I have these review stars with the number of reviews in here. And then I have these two custom liquids where I kind of write the text in with some emoji benefits. I go over the code and the whole entire store build A to Z in the store build video inside the course. So if you want to see more, you know, detailed stuff about how I get my stores looking this good, then obviously, as I said, make sure to watch it, check it out. And just continuing down the page here, guys, I set up a buy one, get one free offer with bundle bear. I think bundle bear looks very, very clean. And I like how you can have the pictures up here like that. So customers know the exact product that they're buying. I have a size chart implemented in here under a collapsible row and coming down, we just kind of have this GIF. Another thing that I really, really love about Shrine right here, guys, is these horizontal tickers. You can just put it in wherever on the site and it moves. It looks very, very legit and branded and you can just write whatever text you want in here. I used an image banner and I put in this really, really cool video showing off the product with a caption over it and I kind of turned the opacity down just so it's readable. I have these icon bars right here and I have this little slideshow that's kind of just showing off the customer reviews and you know just see how our customer style just for more social proof 
And then we get down to the reviews that I imported and then that's the end of the page. Brian also has a sticky add to cart, which looks really, really nice. And yeah, that's basically the product page. That's what I'm running with. And let's get into the creatives. As I said, the way that I find all the content for my creatives and just for the product page and everything is just straight up looking the product up on TikTok, Googling it, YouTube shorts, Instagram reels and all that. And I went ahead, I made three creatives here in CapCut. They look really nice with the voiceovers. I'm not gonna show all of them. This one I will show and I kind of went through here and made a simple edit. So I'm gonna let that play. Strong, confident, beautiful young lady. <laughs> oh look, you're here too. The way that I have this structured is kind of just, you know, the footage starts and it has a little hook and the sound matches up very, very well, which I think is super important to having a good ad. And then right when the beat drops, it kind of just switches the footage and I throw up the offer on the screen. And this one I kept pretty short. It's only eight seconds and it kind of gets the whole point across. And I have a few other ones that I'm throwing in and yeah, that's it for the creatives. All right guys, so now that everything is done and in place, we can go ahead and set up our first campaign. Tomorrow is Saturday, which is a good day for testing, especially on the weekend. I just feel like there's more buying power during those times. I never like testing on a Monday or Tuesday just because there's less people on the platform buying, especially with us spending a lower budget since it's just starting out and we're getting optimized. So I already went ahead and made the TikTok account and connected it to my Shopify. And we're just gonna go ahead and get in here and make our first campaigns. So right here, I'm making the testing ABO. We select our placements, make sure only TikTok is on. I personally turn off comments. We have our pixel here selected on complete payment and we're gonna get down here. I'm gonna go female only for this, leave the ages on all. And I typically test US and Canada just to start. And I'm gonna schedule this for 6 a.m. the next day. And that's gonna be our ABO campaign. All right, there we go. So now the testing strategy is set up. And our ad account is still in review because I just made it, but hopefully this gets approved by the morning and the ads are able to go live. Tomorrow, I'm going to let this run, let it spend, and I'm gonna do a live check-in with everyone, show you guys how it's doing, what the metrics are looking like, if we got any sales, and if we're bumping any budgets or if we're doing anything fancy during day one. So I will check back in tomorrow and hopefully it goes well. All right guys, so right now it is the end of day one. It's 11.58 p.m. and this is how we ended the day. $712 in sales, guys. So this is obviously a crazy day one. I'm gonna get into the ad metrics, break everything down and show you what I'm gonna do next. All right, so here's what the ads manager is looking like for day one. I'm gonna break down everything that I did. And just to start off, we spent $233 and got a return of $712 on the first day. So that just is a sign that this is obviously gonna be huge for me, guys. So the testing strategy that I use my campaign setups is obviously the Rippy Club testing strategy that we have. And just right out of the gate, guys, 4.6% CTR, 4%, 3.7% CTR. That's how I know that my creatives are absolutely banger. The day started out pretty slow. I didn't have a sale up until the first $28 in spend. And most people, most YouTubers, they would tell you guys, cut it, you don't have a sale right away. But that's not how these ad platforms work, guys. Cutting too fast is just an idiotic thing to do. And that's what Rippy Club and my YouTube channel is here to teach you to get away from. So I let these campaigns go all day. This first CBO I cut off at 32 bucks just because these other campaigns were pretty much carrying and had most of the conversion. This one didn't hit one yet. So I decided to turn that off and save money there. And this ABO test with all my creatives and this CBO test went very, very well. So what I did is I went ahead and bumped this budget to $100 as it was performing well. And I also did the same thing with these ABO ad groups. These two ad groups right here absolutely popped off. So I went ahead and bumped the budget on those up to $100 because I saw they were performing well, getting conversions at a really low CPA. So that tells me I have room to bump up the budget on it. Now it's not all good news because here's what the issue is, guys. I ended up hitting up my suppliers, as you can see in this screenshot right here, and the cost for the product was actually more than I was expecting it to be. So this is a full mistake on my part. And what you guys need to know, as well as me, is know your break-even costs going into running ads. You need to know what your break-even CPA is before you get to scaling, before you get to running ads. It makes no sense to start running a business without knowing how much you can spend on ads to be profitable. So right here, guys, the offer that I ran today for the first day one test was a buy one, get one free offer for $39. 
So the reason this is not going to work, guys, is because if I run this at $39 and my cost to fulfill with two of these is $28, that only leaves us with an $11 profit margin. So any conversion we get that takes more than $11 in spend is going to be unprofitable for us, and that's not going to work. That's not going to scale. For most products that I run on TikTok, I'm going for at least a $20 break-even margin, and that usually can give me a lot of room to scale. So what I'm going to do to make myself more profitable to make more people convert because what also had happened today was after reading the metric, you can see here, this didn't track properly, but we had 18 orders. However, we had 79 and 42 people add the cart and reach checkout. So my idea for this is to change up the offer and we're gonna go from buy one, get one free. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change this to a buy one, get one 50% off discount. What this is gonna do is get more people to add to their cart and also help with my margin. So as I said, with two units, my profit margin is only $11, which isn't going to work. If people only want to take the one for 36 bucks, then my break even on that is going to be 19. If they add in the second one, which I'm going to implement an in car upsell, the total order value would be right around $54. And when they take the second one in their cart, that's going to make my margin on two units $28. So it's a win-win for me as well as for the customer. So what this is gonna do is gonna absolutely explode my margin. It's gonna give me so much more room to scale and I'm gonna get in the ads manager. I'm gonna make a ton more ads and we'll see what happens on day two. But I just wanna show you guys, this is how you read and analyze metrics, okay? Obviously I have very, very good metrics. My creatives are amazing and everything is converting here. But where's the hole in the funnel? It's in my margins and in my product pricing. So that is something that I need to analyze and step on right away because I need to make sure that this can work at the margin that's gonna be profitable for me. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and make the first unit 36 bucks, as I said, and then I'm gonna have, when you add to cart, I'm gonna have a little upsell in here that's gonna prompt you to add another one for 50% off. If they take it, they take it. If they don't, they don't but this is gonna make my margins, as I said, go way up. So we're gonna run with that. We're gonna test this off for tomorrow and we'll see if this one can perform just as strong. Yo, so real quick, it's 2.30 a.m. right now and I just finished setting up all the ads to go live for tomorrow. And about two hours ago at midnight, I finished setting up my upsell. So this is what it looks like. When you click add to cart, you'll be prompt right here to add another one for 50% off. And when you click add, the discount automatically applies. And randomly at 2 a.m., we got an order and it hit right away, $54. So that's a really good sign. I think tomorrow's gonna be a huge day. We'll see what happens and I'll come back with a live update in the middle of tomorrow. All right, it's 3 p.m. on day two right now after we made the offer adjustment. We are absolutely cooking. All right, guys, so obviously this offer is hitting very, very well. The metrics are looking pretty cracked today. And we are well on the profit with an $11 CPA. And our AOV is right around 45 bucks right now, which is absolutely insane, guys. So I just wanna take you into the ad account, show you what's happening, and show you the moves that I make through day by day. So we have a few CBOs and a few ABOs that are running right now, about seven campaigns are on. And I already did this with some of them, but for example, this CBO is on a $50 budget right now and it has two purchases and it's at a very profitable cost per acquisition that I like. So I'm gonna take the budget on here and just up it to 100. That's already what I did with these top two campaigns right here. And honestly, this one has a really good CPA, so I'm gonna up it 50% right now, up to 150. And I'm just gonna let these campaigns keep cooking throughout the day. And as they get more conversions and the CPA remains profitable, I'm just gonna continuously up the budget on them just like I did right here with this one. And you know, giving a winning campaign more budget to work with is just gonna bring back more orders for me. We're already at over $1,000 on the second day, which is crazy, it's 3 p.m. We're gonna see what we finish the day out as. And then tonight I'm gonna check in, show you guys how much revenue we did, and then give you guys my game plan for going into day three and the whole rest of this upcoming week. Okay guys, so the day finished and yesterday we ended up at 2.14K revenue on day two, which is absolutely nuts. We can see it right here on our dashboard. And you know, what this tells me is the offer obviously hit really, really well. A lot of people took the upsell with the 50% off. So I had an AOV of around $45, which is insanely good because my break even CPA is right around 21 to $28 if they take the two. So we're well in the profits now already on day two. Today on Monday, we are sitting at 778 bucks. We'll probably finish the day around a little over a thousand today. 
But the one thing that I need to do right now and act fast on guys is emails. Email and SMS marketing is literally one of the most crucial parts to every single e-commerce business, guys. And a lot of you people drop shipping, just kind of sleep on it and ignore it fully and miss out on all the extra revenue that can easily be recovered. So what I mean when I say emails is obviously yesterday we had a ton of visitors come to our store. We had a little over 1400 and obviously not everyone purchased. We had 47 purchases and this tracking might be off a little bit, but 162 out of cards, 64 reached checkout. A lot of people might've went on and just browsed the site a little bit, looked around and didn't actually check out. What email and SMS marketing is going to do guys is it's going to be able to recover a ton of that revenue that we missed out on from people who didn't purchase. I'm going to go through Inbox Invaders, which is the email service that's provided inside of Rippy Club. And they're gonna implement Clavio flows on my store and we'll see how much revenue we can make that we wouldn't have made prior without having the email flow set up. All right guys, so this is Cam. He runs Inbox Invaders inside of Rippy Club and he's gonna be setting up all the Clavio flows on my store. He's gonna tell us a little bit more about what he's gonna do. Yo, yo, um, so yeah, so basically how we operate is we're gonna go in and try to recover some more revenue for you as well as increase your conversion rate on the front end. We're gonna go in and set up automated flows. Uh, basically what that entails, we've got welcome, we've got abandoned cart, we've got browse abandonment, we've got post purchase, we've got win back, we've got even an order deliver flow. Um, basically the most important is going to be the welcome flow that's going to be on the front end when people visit your site they'll see a pop-up we'll collect emails sms and this will be a, the the entry point that'll allow us to follow up with them for the various actions that they take on your site whether it's looking at a product uh initiating checkout and abandoning it things like that so they'll be in our web um, so we'll get all of these set up and then we'll send campaigns on your behalf okay awesome bro so People that don't end up checking out on my site or maybe if they add to the cart and don't buy, we can recover some of that revenue and hit them up with an email later. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Okay, absolutely. awesome, bro. All right, guys, so it's the next day right now. Yesterday on Monday, we finished at 1.63 yesterday. And today, we are floating right around 1.69. This is how today is going right now. It's kind of been slow and fast. It is Halloween and it is Tuesday, so I'm gonna chalk it to that. But I do want to give a fat shout out to Cam and shout out to Inbox Invaders and everyone in Rippy Club because they got the email flows on my store set up so fast overnight. And I want to show you guys this. So this is what our ads are looking like right now. I surfed this CBO up to a thousand. It's been maintaining a really good CPA. A lot of these aren't really hitting the second conversion, which is what I'm waiting for. But like I said, it is Halloween. Today's been a little bit slower. Here's what I noticed. We have 34 conversions today on TikTok and 38 orders in total here on the Shopify dashboard. So guys, right away, day one of the emails, they are already hitting, which is nuts. If we come into Clavio, we can see all my flows that are set up right here. And we've already done $200 in revenue between yesterday and today with the emails on, which is absolutely nuts, guys. If I didn't have this, I probably wouldn't even be profitable today. And it's giving me so much more room to push the ads, bump the budgets. And this is only the first day. We haven't done a campaign up here yet, which pushes a ton of revenue. And inbox invaders and the email setup are already going so, so well. Think long term, guys. Imagine the big brands. Imagine when you have this on over a long period of time and you have 50,000, 100,000, 200,000 emails, guys. One, imagine how much attributed revenue that's gonna get you just by having these flows set up for that long. And two, imagine sending out one email blast to your entire list and 100,000 people get access to a discount all at the same time. Imagine how much revenue you do in the next 24 or 48 hours. This is one thing that all of you either need to outsource or learn yourself to absolutely level up your game and take you to the next level. So as I said, we're sitting around 1.6K today. There's 11 active cards, seven checking out. Hopefully some of these convert and we'll see what we end up at today. But I also have another trick up my sleeve that I'm gonna implement and I'm gonna show you guys. So what that was is this app Zipify right here. What this app allows you to do is upsell other products as well at different points in the customer's journey. So what I noticed as you can see in these screenshots is I was getting a few emails from the customers and some of them are asking if the top comes with the cargo pants that matches them. So naturally, just within a few customer emails, I knew I had to get this on my store and this was gonna be another place for me to make money. So what I set up right here in Zipify is called a post-purchase upsell. And I made the matching top another product on my store. So what I did was I went in here and made a post-purchase upsell. Whenever a customer checks out on my store, if they didn't buy this already, this is gonna come up on their screen after they've already paid for the order. And they're gonna get prompted to buy another matching set for a different discount. 
And the beautiful thing about this is since they already purchased from my store and they're already through the checkout process, one, they're already in the buying mood, two, they can just hit complete purchase right here and they don't need to re-enter any of their details. So it's a really, really good impulse and another good spot to grab revenue. What I also did was bring back Bundle Bear into my store and right under the buy buttons, I have it set up so you can just buy the whole set together as one for $60. And of course, if they don't choose this and they only buy the pants, only then will the upsell that I just showed you pop up for them after they complete their order. So here's what the crazy part is guys. Day one, we had a $39 AOV. Day two, we added in the extra 50% off offer and that brought us up to 45. And we pretty much coasted at that for the last three days. Today, with this extra top set added in as an upsell, we are sitting at a $60 AOV, which absolutely made my store explode, guys. We're at 23 orders on the day and we're already at 1.3K revenue with right around 340 ad spend. So with all these systems in place, with the extra upsell that I added, the extra bundle that I added, the add another for 50% off discount, the inbox invaders emails on my store, we're absolutely all set to scale as hard as we possibly can into this weekend. And I think for this video, I'm gonna have the store go for seven days and show what I can do. So now that I'm just set up all i need to worry about is scaling my ads as hard as possible so we're gonna see how much revenue we can end up doing by the end of this now we spent a full day with the upsell on that i just showed you that i put in and we've already done 200 extra dollars in revenue on it so that's just more free money going into my pocket and what's interesting about this guys is i set up a split test so upsell one went for 23.99 upsell two went for 17.99 so basically what the split test means is half of the people that got the upsell saw one price and the other half saw the other and the top one that was more expensive actually converts just as well as the cheaper one. As you can see, they both have right around the same conversion rate. So I picked the more expensive one as the winner, obviously. Our inbox invader emails are absolutely smacking. Literally almost 20% of the revenue we're generating is attributed from the emails. And yesterday here on the second, we ended up spending 1600 in the ads. And since we have all these systems in place yesterday, we did 4.24 which was our biggest day so far yet. Another thing that I ended up going through and doing is I hired somebody off of Fiverr to actually go into my store and speed up my website. Our speed score on our website used to be like 45. And now, as you can see here, it's literally at 92, which is nuts. A lot of the content that I have on the product page is some big files. So I want to be sure that it loads fast so customers aren't clicking off too quick. And last thing to update here about is if you guys notice at the very start of this, I started this on a brand new ad account. And that's because TikTok has an offer going on right now. And basically, if you spend $1,500, you can get another $1,500 for free. So that ad credit actually ended up getting applied to my account. And I was spending it all and didn't even realize it. So we have $500 left. Today on the third, we're floating around 824 in spend, which is all for free, by the way, which is absolutely nuts. And we're floating around 2.4K on the day right now. Hopefully this day can end up being our biggest. We'll see how it goes. But for this video, guys, we have today and tomorrow to do as much revenue as we can possibly push. And that's what I'm gonna focus on getting done. And to keep my store exploding, guys, I'm going to go multi-channel with my advertising. So I know that this is working on TikTok and we're absolutely printing right now. I'm going to bring this over to Facebook as well and run this campaign on here. And last night, I also went through and got my supplier costs even lower for the product. So my margin is even bigger. And I hope that you guys by this point in the video are understanding that dropshipping and e-commerce isn't just throwing something up and running it. You see all this high level back end stuff that I'm applying right now, guys. I'm going multi-channel with my ads. I sped up my store. I got my email and SMS flow set up. I'm testing different offers and putting in my upsells just to extract as much revenue as possible. It's all the stuff that you guys need to eventually learn, continue progressing on and getting better at and continue to apply to your own store. All right, guys, so that is the complete end of the challenge. We did it for seven days, not a challenge, whatever this video was, just a watch me scale type of thing. And this is the moment of truth where we're gonna go over all the results right now, show the profit and everything. So as we know, the 28th was the first day of the challenge when we did the 712 bucks with the buy one, get one free offer. You guys watched me run everything and implement all the systems that we teach inside a Rippy Club over the week. And we ran all the way to the fourth. The total amount of revenue that we did, guys, 22.8K, 451 orders, $50 AOV for the whole challenge. The conversion rate isn't actually accurate. It was probably more around three to 4% and we're gonna get into the rest of the nitty gritty as well. So here's my profit loss tracker sheet. This is inside of Rippy Club for you guys to use as well. And the total amount of ad spend that we had throughout the whole challenge was right around 9.1K, 
But then if you remember earlier in the video, I mentioned we had the $1,500 in free ad credit. So in total, we actually spent 7.6K on ads and that was just another free extra 1,500 into my pocket. And the total profit rate in this challenge was right around 4K guys. 4K a week, that's 16K a month, almost 200 grand a year. And you know, this is something that I literally just started from complete scratch. And you guys watched me build it from literally nothing and scale it all the way up to this. And I wanna bring you guys into the Clavio right here because as we mentioned throughout the video, we had inbox invaders with the email and SMS marketing on my store. And this helped my store and did so much more revenue, so much guys. Literally a few days in, you can see right here, we did a 1K day with just emails. Imagine with an extra $1,000 in revenue on the Shopify dashboard, that allows me to scale my ads so much harder. That's more free profit into my pocket. So just in one week, without even you know really getting a chance to gain enough data and optimize the emails, we had a 12% attributed revenue. And this isn't even fully accurate, it's probably a little bit more, but this is just a huge extra channel for recovering revenue, guys, that you all need to apply to your store, which I hope is getting through your head. So guys, as you can see, everything that we teach inside of Rippy Club, everything that's inside of my free course is everything that I applied, days one through seven right here, and you guys saw it happen. You guys saw the results that I got clearly works and everything was going well. I need you guys to watch the free course. I need you guys to get inside a Rippy Club. If you don't, I don't know what you're doing. We have every resource ever that you're gonna need and it's the best possible community to be a part of. We're taking over the space on YouTube right now. My videos are gonna be providing the most value out of any drop shipping content, out of any e-com content on YouTube. I'm peeling back everything. My channel is focused on just straight value. I don't care about the flashy edits, the flashy thumbnails, anything like that. Just really trying to help you guys provide value and teach you what's going on. So that's going to be it for this video, boys. I'll see you guys inside of Rippy Club. I hope you guys enjoy the free course below. And let's continue to keep scaling this Q4. Let's get it.